be one. Yes! <laughs> Finally, ah There we go. That's definitely not a perch. That's not what we want. Oh no. Jack's gonna break me off probably. Come here. Oh, come here. It's not what I want. There we go. This is not what I want, sadly. There we go. That might be one. That might be one. It is. Yes. Oh, finally. Ah you guys, this is what we came for. Nice perch in here. I'm so pumped. Oh my gosh. We haven't got a Goldilocks. Well, it's the first one with open water this year. Love it. Mr. Bonker. All right, guys. So this is what we're doing today. I love pickerel rigs for perch in the summertime. This guy, we managed to break it off in the net, but if you guys seen rigs, they got two uh, bars like this. You have hooks running down from each one, and you gotta wait at the bottom. And I had me I love mealworms for perch. I've always had great luck. So I put one with uh, regular night crawlers and then the one with mealworms, and they seem to be liking the, uh, the regular worms right now. I really don't want too many fish today. One this size is probably gonna be good enough anyways. So we're gonna stick to this, if anything, or we're gonna fry it up and do some fish crisp. So it's kinda of cold today, I'm not gonna lie. But that's why throughout the day, we got quite a bit of nibbles. And you can tell they're perched too. They weren't pike, like they didn't just hammer it. Perch kinda of just, you know, fondled a little bit and you can tell. So I'm cold, you know what time it is. It's coffee time. If you guys watch, we make the best coffee in Saskatchewan. So we're gonna set up the little, Kit here, nice little camp stove. Boil some coffee, because it's gonna warm up. If you guys want links to any of the gear I use, check out the description. Usually I link it, like the stove, the aero press, nothing beats it. I'm so excited, I'm just about as excited for the coffee as I am the fish. How in the frig did this it's for toast. It's for toast. It's not for. Ugh. This is just gonna level this out because we're not even. We're never level. It's never level out here. That's not gonna work. What if the worms will work? Not even close. Not bad. Not bad. Get my strikers out. I never use lighters anymore. This is way cooler and way funner. My fair rod. I'm a striker. And this is high speed steel. That's what you want if you want to build these. It got way better of an edge and it makes way more of a spark. <laughs> That's awesome every time. Love it. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get this coffee rolling. I'm cold. The Vader. The Vader. Never fish without it. It's just a filter that goes in the bottom. Dump the water in top. We well, put the grinds in first, and you put the water in top, and you press it through. Arrow press. We used to measure, but thicker the better. If the spoon stands up in it, you're doing good. Oh yes! Here we go. My hands are even cold today. I was wet. My butt's wet out there. Everything. All right, she's done. She's done, man, let's do this. Yeah, oh yeah. Coffee, it's coffee time. <laughs> I usually bring the dog, but um, not in the kayak, clearly. She, uh, we'd, we'd capsize, we'd have a wreck. And she wouldn't want to stay on shore, so better off just leave her at home. Then I leave this set a little bit, just a few seconds or so, I think it makes a difference. And then we do this. Woo! We don't do that. <laughs> That's hot. Don't fill up that much. Don't ever do that.
It's really a mouthful of delight. I promise. I mean, you can't taste it, but I can show you what it looks like. It's nice. Good stuff, it's good. It's hot though, it's real hot. So now we're gonna clean this up real quick. I'm gonna show you the way I do it. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but I think this is the quickest way and it's the easiest for me. Check out Podden. Been running the same blade, haven't sharpened it since the beginning of ice season. Links below. So, all I do is just go behind the fin, angle towards the head, go to hit the spine, follow the top of the spine. You can feel it with your blade. Keep going. When you get to about there, I just push the knife through like that, angle it down, go right out the back, just like that. And the idea behind this one, I don't flay the thing, the, flay it right off and then get the ribs out. Now I just go like this and I follow the ribs. And you can hear, hear that? Oh yeah, you hear that. And we just go right down, just like that. And when you got a sharp knife, it's so easy. I just love this knife and it's such a good price. It's like $30, I believe, if I remember. Just like that, right to the bottom. How easy is that? Then we just get the skin off next. That's it. Perfect, you get it right on the bone. Same thing on this side. Behind the fin, angle it towards the head. This is the weirder side because it's kind of backwards for me. Then follow the top. You can feel the top of the ribs. Again, you get to about there. Push the knife through. Angle down again. Fall the ball. I think it's easier to hold like a pencil sometimes, especially if it's sharp. And that's it. Now this part, same as any other one. Every fish is pretty much the same. Getting it, I should almost use another knife to hold it. My finger gets a little. Slide her out. See, gets it all real nice. That. A nice little fillet, it's completely boneless. And what I do always too, I always double check. Just feel it with your hands. It's easy to do and you can kind of, just a double check, especially if you have kids. They don't like bones, they choke. <laughs> okay, so now, now, I'm not really biased, but if you're pan frying perch, and perch is my ultimate favorite fish to ever to, to eat. If you're doing it this way, all you need is fish crisp, that is it. Put lard in the pan. If you want to put a little olive oil on top of it, lemon pepper, fish crisp, that's it. Shake it up, throw it in there. Oh, it's the best way to eat it. I don't care what anybody says, it's the best way. Trust me, if you haven't tried it, try it. I'm so pumped. Perch, having it perched, it's hard water. So I got my little cast iron pan. That, the best. If you, can, if you have access to a cast iron pan, holds the heat, definitely a pan you want to use. Not the Teflon ones, they're not quite as good. And the easiest way I do this, see? This is it, fish crisp. Boom. Boom, baby. That's what we're talking about. So you're gonna fill it up. That's probably more than enough since we got <laughs> since we only got a couple pieces, jeez. Oh my gosh, what are we doing here? Just throw them in. Goodness. Goodness in a bag. Okay, start the grill. It's not level anymore, we're gonna have a wreck. Like a big wreck. That's pretty good now. Pretty good. Pretty happy about that. DC Outdoors, where you at? I won this. It's the first thing I ever won on YouTube giveaway. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, is that time do that again. All right, best part. That's all you do with this. Just throw them in. A little bit of pepper if you want, or lemon pepper, which we have, and lemon. It's, that's all you need. Listen to this. Wow. You guys know the rule, never overcook fish, ever. Wreck it. 
And this is the Kalemon Dilly by Epicure. The dill mix. That's what I use. It's really freaking good. Like, really good. Cooking outdoors, nothing beats it. I don't care what anybody says. If anybody says any different, unfriend them. It's a lot. At least we brought a fork today. Usually we don't. I got a little pan to put the food in. The smell is phenomenal. You guys have to tell me in the comments what is the best fish you eat. I will never stray away from perch. It is the best. And when the fish crisps, you get enough on it, it just browns it just like that. Like, oh, that was a little too much. I overcooked that a little bit, that one. I was too busy doing a thumbnail, so I was running around. That's my fault. Don't do this, ever. The mix makes it brown, so it's not technically that burnt. And that's it. This is why I brought this pan now. Just so I don't burn myself anymore. We're learning as we go. Just a little bit of lemon. And that's it. It's all I ever do for perch. Oh, I lied. Well, soon to be. I ordered a fish fryer, deep fryer, an outdoor one from Cabela's. It should be here probably tonight. So the next time we do perch, why is this so hard? The next time we do perch, we're doing some frying. Oh yeah, I'm really excited about that. I've been waiting for this cinch ice season. And you can't see, but out there, that's where usually my ice fishing videos are for perch. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't the lake with the really big ones, but you can still get some nine, 10 inch ones in here. 13, 14s, the 15s are at another one. I wanna try and go there for the next fish fry. Here we go. Man, that smells good. That smells so good. Oh, how is it so good? Man, that's good. Try perch, you guys. If you're not a perch fan, you've never tried perch. If you don't eat fish, if you're gonna start, try with perch. Man, it's good. Oh, man. <laughs> it's so good. You gotta try it. And it's crunch a little bit crunchy, too. When you get enough batter on it to the brownness, you feel that little bit of crunch when you're eating it. Taste a little bit of lemon between the dill and the squirting stuff. Man, I could eat perch every single day. Mm-hmm. I never get sick of it. I drink it with, or eat it with coffee. Drink it with coffee, eat it with, I don't know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for my dog. Stay tuned, more Catch and Cooks coming.